Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Reverend Graham's response to Trump's Syria comments is what America needed to hear. When President Donald Trump announced Friday evening that limited and targeted airstrikes had taken place in Syria in response to the use of chemical weapons by the Assad regime, he closed out his remarks with a call to prayer for the nation. Tonight, I ask all Americans to say a prayer for our noble warriors and our allies as they carry out their missions. Trump said. We pray that God will bring comfort to those suffering in Syria. We pray that God will guide the whole region toward a future of dignity and of peace. And we pray that God will continue to watch over and bless the United States of America." Less than 48 hours after Trump delivered those remarks, the Rev. Franklin Graham discussed Trump's call to prayer for the nation during a Sunday morning appearance on Fox & Friends. "'I appreciate that we have a president that understands prayer and solicits prayer,' Graham said. Our country is in trouble, and the world is in trouble. The perplexity of the problems that the president faces every day, at home and abroad, is just incredible. We should be praying for him, and he asks us to pray for our soldiers and those in harm's way, for the Syrian people that there be resolution, but at the same time we pray for the president," Graham added. Graham said the Bible instructs us to pray for our imperfect leaders and those in authority. And the president, in turn, asked us to pray for our soldiers and those that are leading this charge, and for the Syrian people," Graham said. I just appreciate that we have a man in office that understands the need for prayer. Lifeson noted that one of the co-hosts of Fox & Friends pointed out that prayer transcends partisan politics and can bring people of different backgrounds and ideology together, to which Graham replied, God hears prayer. If a righteous person prays, the Bible says God hears that prayer. So it's important that we do pray. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, the fact is that Donald Trump is the President of the United States. And if he does well, makes good decisions, it benefits all of us as a nation, regardless of our background," Graham added. We need him to succeed at home, and we need him to succeed abroad. It's not about winning or losing, it's about succeeding for all Americans. And so I pray for the President, and I'm proud that he's our President and that he solicits prayer, wants it and understands it. It's refreshing to have someone like that in power. Another of the show's co-hosts said that it seemed as if Trump had led the nation in a short prayer to end his speech Friday night, and wondered if the president's relationship with Christian leaders had emboldened him to more publicly invoke the name of God. The president has not been ashamed of the name of Jesus Christ. He hasn't been ashamed of his faith. And that's refreshing. And he doesn't mind pastors like myself mentioning the name of Jesus Christ," Graham replied. He is a man who does want God's help. And he wants God's help not only in the presidency, but as he deals with all of the world problems and problems here at home. He wants God's help. And we need to get behind him and support that. I don't support every decision. I don't understand some of the things that, Trump, has done," Graham admitted. But at the same time, he's still my president and if he succeeds, then my wife, and my children, and my grandchildren, they're going to benefit from his success. So we all need to get behind that. Truer words have never been spoken, and regardless of the differing ideologies and opinions across the country, we should all be able to get behind the sentiment that a successful president is a benefit to us all. But success doesn't come easily, thus the need for prayerful support from supporters and non-supporters alike. In spite of our country's many differences, we nevertheless are all in this together. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.